Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want, and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Hublot King Power Austin Grand Prix, a 2012 250 piece limited edition. You can see this 48 millimeter titanium Hublot King Power on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it there, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. On my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. The Austin Grand Prix limited edition proves the old adage is true. Everything really is bigger in Texas. Now, the 250 piece limited edition is one of only several Texas themed limited editions that Hublot's released over the years, including several Dallas Cowboy watches as well as a Ferrari of Texas limited edition Big Bang. But this particular variant of the Hublot Texas theme is uniquely dedicated to the 2012 resumption of the Grand Prix Formula One racing in the United States. As such, it features automotive motifs that you know well from the previous Shanghai Grand Prix and Japanese Grand Prix Suzuka limited editions with the addition of Texas state colors in vivid metallic treatment on the dial itself. Now the watch wears light. My wrist is six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, and you can see at 18 millimeters thick, this watch stands proud. This is not one to wear underneath any kind of sleeve. Moreover, at 59.5 millimeters from extremity of lug to the beveled opposite extremity, this is a huge timepiece, Texas sized in fact, but I can wear it securely and with comfort because it features a combination of natural rubber, composite inserts, carbon fiber, and titanium. This is a light watch. Close your eyes and you're gonna think 41, 42 millimeters, not nearly 60 in span. Hublot understands that you can't build a bigger customer, even though you can build a bigger watch. So the ergonomic equation here is carefully calculated. Now the lugs actually turn down before they reach the flank of the case, so the watch is cambered in a sense, bending around the curvature of a smaller wrist. You can see that to good effect from this angle. It will sit securely on a smaller wrist, leaving you solely the one to decide is big, is oversized, is Texas sized for me. If it is, you can't do any better than this Austin Grand Prix limited edition. It features an exceptional evolution for Hublot. The combination of a Audemars Piguet style horn back alligator leather using contrasting red stitch with the company's signature natural vulcanized rubber strap. This has been an Hublot hallmark since its inception in 1980. Here, the strap itself is even blazoned with the logo of Formula One, a special edition strap for a special edition watch. Now, the clasp is of exceptional quality, featuring twin triggers. It is a deployant, and when closed, you can hear it closes with a sharp snap. The tolerances are exceptional. This has the security of it, something like a dive watch on the wrist. Now. Automotive motifs abound. The combination of the titanium drilled brake rotor, as well as the slotted style carbon fiber underlying bezel plays to great effect. The materials are true to Formula One, titanium and carbon fiber as in a modern racing machine. And the look is compounded by the use of dashboard instrument style pushers for the chronograph stop, start, and reset. Moreover, a differential style cog becomes your crown. The dial itself features Texas state colors. We are in the Lone Star State. Red, white, and blue is the order of the day, but the treatment is exceptional. Now the chapter ring, features floating sapphire mounted Arabic numerals for the zero to 60 scale. So one can see as the watch is moved through the light, those numerals are in fact on the bottom side of the sapphire and they do have a floating quality to them that adds exceptional depth to this already nuanced dial. The chapter ring is wonderfully engraved with individual cut hash marks for the seconds and minutes and inboard an hour track of applied markers provides extra texture and extra gleam. These are beautifully polished, beautifully finished and they stand out against the beautiful metallic blue, black, and red base. The watch features anthracite colored hands that pop against the metallic red backdrop, and you can see the watch is easily red at a glance. The chronograph function is the quintessential motorsports complication, and it reads to good effect. Again, you can see the semi-instantaneous minute jumper at three o'clock tracking the minutes just as the hours are tracked at six o'clock. But it is that Hublot F1 logo at 12 o'clock that takes center stage. This is a vivid, nuanced, and exciting dial. It keeps your eyes transfixed on exactly what they want you to see, exactly what they want to bill as the hallmarks of the Hublot Austin Grand Prix limited edition, such that you don't even notice the date at 4.30 until I call attention to it. Most discreetly hidden, it's completely unobtrusive, leaving the F1 logo, the Hublot marquee, and the red, white, and blue salient, strident, and foremost. 
Now the case back, featuring Hublot's skeletonized and blackened tungsten carbide winding rotor, reveals the Hublot Caliber HUB4100. It features 25 joules. It is based on the tractor Valjoux 7750 automatic movement from ETA. Very tough. It's a 42 hour power reserve. It does feature hacking seconds, so if you want to precisely synchronize your watch by pulling the crown, stopping the balance, and stopping the seconds, you can do that. And although that date is almost completely hidden, it's there if you want it, and you can quick set it for easy corrections should the watch ever run down. Moreover, this is a true sports watch in every sense. If you swap out the leather and put a pure rubber strap, you do have 100 meter or 330 foot water resistance. This watch is big. It's loud, it's Texas-sized, and you can see it on our website, watchyouwant.com.